Good evening. Cheers. So it's uh, late in the evening and it's day five of our uh, adventures on Piano Azura and we've been at Chivita Vecchia today. I can still say that. <laughs> and I've had a few wines. A few wines. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty good going, I reckon. Right, that's it. To vlog over. <laughs> we've decided to do it tonight, actually, because we've got a really early start in the morning. We so we thought it'd be easier to do it tonight than rush around tomorrow. So tomorrow's our last port stop yeah. in Naples. We're doing the Pompeii thing and we've been told we've got to be off really early in the morning. It's a tournament away for eight o'clock so we've got to be off the ship before eight o'clock in the morning so we won't get time so we thought we'd just have a bit of a recap of what's been a really wonderful day at Tvitavecchia and in Rome which is what we did and we did kind of wimp out of the oh let's take the train into Rome and do it on our own thing in the end um we could we were unable to book an excursion ahead of the cruise into Rome they'd all sold out so we were planning to do sort of like get the train from the station and make our own way in. We've been told that's doing. I've done loads of research on YouTube. It is definitely possible. Yeah, we were going to try it, but then when when you saw that there was some opening up, didn't we? Yeah, I mean they opened up so. some more excursions on yeah. on board here. And we just thought, do you know what? We really want to do Rome. We've never done it before, so we just do that. Yeah. So we did, but it did mean a very early start this morning. So we're up. We were docked at six a.m. this morning, yeah. and. Um, you know, we were, we were off before eight yeah. um, and we were on the coach just after eight and we were speeding into Rome uh, from Civita Vecchia when our guide Angela, who was looking after us, yeah. was, and she gave us some apps. She was quite nice, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was about an hour and a half, would you say? Into about an hour about and a half. About an hour and a half yeah. on the coach. Yeah, which again was nice because it's a nice air con in there. So it was nice and cool for us. And the scenery was quite nice as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, and it dropped us off right by the Colosseum, which was quite fortunate because obviously that's one of the things you want to go and see in Rome yeah. is the Colosseum and the coach just dropped you off right by it. We would have liked to have gone inside, but again, you know, it, it takes a long time getting tickets and all that. And we had a lot of things we wanted to see, didn't we, to get a snippet really of it. Yeah, so like a lot of these things, if yeah. you'd been more planned and better prepared in advance you could have booked tickets in advance and or you could have paid the extra and gone for the skip the line tickets and stuff but obviously we weren't sure that we were even going to get there so um it no. was it was a yeah, because because we were going to do it on our own, yeah. we just didn't know what time we were going to get in or anything, did we? Really. But it, so. it is a fantastic mm. place, and you get those opportunities to take those selfies in front of the Colosseum, and um, you well, know. you're just there in awe of it, actually, aren't you? It's an incredible, yeah. incredible building, isn't it? Mm. Absolutely, a fantastic structure, amazing. Yeah. Um, it was very hot again. It was 36 degrees. Hot, 36, you know. didn't it? Yeah. Our guide Angela suggested that we took the metro. Now we did do that we knew no. no people that tried to do that only to find it closed mm. um there was she was some, really apologetic she was she? very yeah. apologetic for that uh, we decided to do the stupid thing and that's walk and okay. hot foot it into the city from the coliseum which was about i'd say about half an hour wasn't it by the time we got lost a couple of times yeah because she said yeah. it was going to take about an hour didn't she yeah. but when you looked it up on the on your phone it said about sort of 25 minutes didn't it yeah so we took the yeah. route up round past the forum and then straight up into the city center and i was trying to get us drivers towards the pantheon which is one of the things i did want to do mm. um and uh, it would say it was um about half an hour's walk and we, we went up we went past the big museum which is fantastic we saw lots of sites on the way yeah. we walked alongside the forum you can't go in there for free anymore that's all part of your entrance ticket when you pay entrance to the Colosseum these yeah. days uh, which is a shame because we would have done that there's but so much of it there's though, so there's much so to see much. Um, and then we made our way through a maze of winding streets and then Oh, loads of lovely courtyards and churches and it's just gorgeous wasn't it gorgeous. Was everywhere you look basically wasn't it Good. we were warned about pickpockets and things like that so we had to be really careful with it with you know your bags and everything else luckily we were all right weren't we thank goodness yes yeah. thank goodness we were and we didn't yeah. know anybody on the coach that had any problems either no. so that was good to hear yeah um when we got into the, the sort of the courtyard and the square outside the pantheon the next challenge was can we go in um it used to be three years ago but it's you've got to pay five euros now haven't you yeah um now All getting this machine wasn't it getting tickets apparently can be booked online but people we were talking to were obviously very frustrated with the online booking yeah, process because so they couldn't do it on the they online. couldn't do it yeah. there were two ticket machines basically in the in the square out the front yeah and they were sort of like um do it yourself 
tap, 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 tap screens and they yeah. wanted, it wanted everything. You wanted the inside leg measurement. Yeah, they wanted everything. your email address. Your email address. And and it was quite yeah. a complicated process on a touch yeah. screen to, to buy a couple of tickets. Plus you couldn't see, it was so bright in the sun, it was hard to see the screen, yeah. wasn't it? There was a ticket office for cash only, but that mm. wasn't open. So there were people queuing to queue up for the cash off cash ticket office for when it eventually opened because apparently it opened at 11 o'clock or something like that so um mm. anyway we got a couple of tickets yeah and then we were straight into the pantheon which is oh wow wow amazing isn't Abs it? i mean a history mm. buff that was like wow yeah. uh, absolutely amazing the, the most intact roman building um and the roof oh, amazing with your yeah. computer absolutely fabulous that was really nice and it was we good to save that up yeah really good so in the city what do we do next gelato <laughs> <laughs> well it has to be done that that was delicious you had to go to a special um checkout and pay for it and got a ticket didn't you mm -hmm. and then we went and chose your ice cream and there were so many to choose from yeah so it was so a bit of weird you you bought basically the the rights to choose a cup or a cone <laughs> and got a ticket with a code on it and then you took it to a counter and there was so much to choose from wasn't yeah it? what did the lady say yesterday gelato a day keeps the doctor away <laughs> i can see why yeah um i went for the um the baileys the baileys one and a lime yeah yeah because yeah, you, you get two scoops yeah you enjoyed that you didn't you really nice i went for the lime and lemon combo which was yeah. really nice because i like my citrus um <laughs> but it was good and mm. obviously had it in a little cup so it didn't all run down yeah your arm. that was good although it did have a really good go running down my arm to be honest <laughs> even though it was in a cup um, but you were trying to get your phone away and everything else yeah, weren't you but it was <laughs> was really good um so oh delicious we had, i mean the total time in rome we had about you say about five five and a half hours yeah there. we had quite a bit yeah so what to do in those five and a half hours um we then made our way up through a bit of the sort of like the tourist trap trail um made our way through lots yeah. of winding streets we pretty... were really keeping an eye on our bags then weren't we we were mm. we were i mean there's so many courtyard squares historic buildings you know, big columns and you know uh, a fantastic well, monument statue sculpture i mean it's just amazing you just can't do do it in a day can you no they you know you probably wouldn't even do it or even scratch the surface in a week you'd have to you know come come back for a complete like well months probably to see everything really there's so much there to is see. so much so much we kind of had to make a whittle list about what we could reasonably do today and what know, we really wanted to see today what we really well. wanted to see given yeah. that we were doing it on foot and that mm. we had to be back at the coliseum you know, yeah five hours later you know and um you know we decided we would tick off the trevi fountain yeah. um oh, that is that is amazing that it is absolutely but everyone's there trying to get their photograph <laughs> and there. it's just yeah it's a bit bit crazy wasn't it really it is a crazy yeah. place but it is also a thing of beauty isn't it? Oh, an absolute amazing. thing of beauty um, what else did we see we saw um we saw loads of different fountains and various fountains and things like that well, and loads of little like um obelisks loads of obelisks i say little they're not little yeah, they're huge um, absolutely huge statue sculpture yeah i mean there is a, really. a square or a courtyard with something in it pretty much everywhere yeah. you go um, amazing uh, really really good uh, so the Trevi Fountain yeah. tick, we did that. Uh, yeah. So then we were thinking, well, where do we go next? Um, but actually, we were still pretty hungry, weren't we? Because we hadn't yeah. had anything since breakfast. So again, we didn't go very rock and roll style-y. Um, <laughs> it's amazing what you do when you need the toilet. <laughs> I mean, you were desperate, weren't there was, you? There's one notable thing about Rome is there's one. There's a lack of dustbins, mm -hmm. right? You can't put rubbish away. There was anywhere. a lot of rubbish on the floor, and now yeah. we know why. So we were just <laughs> stockpiling, you know, wrappers, our ice cream pots, and this, that, and the other. Yeah. There aren't many in bins around. We put in our bag, thinking, "Oh, we'd like to offload this somewhere." Yeah. And two, there are no free public <laughs> toilets. So you you have to go into a cafe or somewhere, pay money, use the services, and then they'll use the lose out the back, won't they? You know, and. Um, uh, I think you could have paid a euro to use it, yeah. but if you obviously had gone somewhere, you can um, get. Well, we were know, we were we were desperate to yeah. to use the loo, and um, we ended up in McDonald's, didn't we? At the end <laughs> of the day, to use the loo's in McDonald's, um, and while we were in there, we decided we would eat there. But yeah, we did, and to be fair, 
not very rock and roll, is it really? It isn't really, no, not no. when you're in Italy, but we have had, we tried some of the Italian pizza the other day, didn't we, which was amazing. But we thought, oh, we'll go go in there to go to the toilet. But actually, the you know, it's it's different to back in the UK. Well, I think that's one of the things, yeah. when you go in there, you go in and use the loose, and then you realise that the, the menus are different and they are quite intriguing yeah. and you think, okay. A little well, bit different. Maybe we should. Yeah. It's like they were in the Caribbean and we had that fantastic KFC in the Caribbean. That was, yeah, that was good. But anyway, so yeah. we had decided that we were hungry. We used the loo. Well, do you know what? We'll just eat here because, you know, we, we've got lots to see. We want to get on. Let's just grab a quick bite and go. Yeah. So we so grabbed we a McDonald's and yeah. we were sat there eating away and scoffing our meal and then there was this lovely couple sat opposite us that were yeah. pulled out this very expensive camera and were snapping away and talking to their camera and doing things like we're doing now actually to their camera and but actually talking about their food, food yeah. and their experience <laughs> and actually quite detailed and quite you know quite informative about the experience of eating at McDonald's in Rome I'm thinking okay we got chatting to them didn't they turns out it's uh, a lovely lady and her boyfriend so a lady called Madison Lee's Apparently she's a huge thing on TikTok. Yeah, uh, one an influencer. 1.2 million followers apparently. Yeah. So um, anyway, it was very nice. And we got chatting about uh, all sorts of crazy stuff and their travels and they're doing a big tour of Europe. And she's doing foods of Europe, um, yeah. including McDonald's in Rome, which is um, <laughs> yeah, quite a thing. But anyway, so we yeah. needed to move on. And um, we then headed up towards the Spanish Steps. Yeah. Oh, wow. That that fountain in front of it was oh, yeah. amazing, wasn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Again, a sort of fair crowd of people there. And one of the nice things about Rome is the amount of running water that is available for you to fill up your water bottles there everywhere. The funny thing is, you, there's so many people trying to sell you bottles of water. They've obviously left like, frozen water and everything, and they're trying to sell you water, water, water. And you think, no, it's fine, because you've got your own bottles. But we found there was loads of free running water yeah. everywhere wasn't there and you could just go and fill your your bottle up if you knew where they were you know yeah. certain places and you could fill up your bottle for free and it was so cold and so delicious it was really mm. really refreshing very yeah. very tasty water and uh you know, you didn't need a flavour at all. It was just no. really delicious, really refreshing. No, no chlorine. No, or anything no. like that. Was lovely. It, no. So mm. you're never going to run out of water in Rome. That's for certain. No. Although it will cost you if you want to use the toilet afterwards. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, so the Spanish Steps was the next thing, and then we were kind of running out of time. We were conscious that we were quite away from the Colosseum at this point, and we had to walk back. Yeah. So we started to make the walk back, didn't we? We um, did. And then as we uh, were Lots making... souvenir shops we, on the way, didn't we? All some things. We had yeah. a little bit of a family emergency on the yeah. way back from back home, which kind yeah. of set us off our stride a little bit. One of my relatives was sadly uh, taking a fall, an elderly relative took a fall, had to be rushed to hospital. So I was trying yeah. to sort that out on the route. Uh, thankfully, all okay, which is really good. Yeah. And my family members sorted that out. Um, but then we decided that we, you know, need to make up a bit of time head back to the Colosseum because there were other bits around the Colosseum area that I really wanted to do. I wanted yeah. to do Palatine Hill, for example. That's it. Um, and, uh, that was lovely, wasn't it? We did decide when all the family stuff was going on, we'd, we'd take a break, didn't we? And yeah. we stopped and had a nice beer, didn't we? In a, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. We had a nice Peroni mm. in this nice cafe on the way back to the Colosseum. We just yeah. needed a break and not having to deal with all the family stuff. Yeah. Um, Bit of air con outside, wasn't it? Yeah. Spraying, and oh, it was really nice, nice and chilled. It was nice, and yeah. then we then hot footed it back to the Colosseum, and then we did some more exploring around Palatine Hill and the Constantine Arch area, which is mm. absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Mm. You know, um, and then time ran out. Didn't it, at the end of the day and we realised that you couldn't do Rome in a day you just can't you do can't, it you can't no I would love to have gone to no. the Vatican love to have done yeah. you know, oh we certainly wouldn't have been able to get to that would oh, we oh yeah no so all of that mm. area the other side of the river we didn't even touch in fact there was so much on the side of the river we didn't touch um, and it's we just telling us we're going to come back again didn't go it? around yeah. the forum or anything I mean it's uh, we just have to come back mm. at the end of the day and, and we will um, that's for certain yeah. so then we were back on the coach <laughs> and then all the way back to the ship and then uh, back aboard and um, 
again not particularly rock and roll but I had a kid after that <laughs> and then I woke up and realised what's the time what's the time time for dinner so we've scampered up we, we, yeah we freshened up freshened cold up. shower for me definitely freshened up <laughs> scampered up the stairs had a meal yeah. had a few drinks still got one going before we go to bed special, our favourite bar Planet Bar absolutely yeah. fantastic Yeah. and then we just decided we're going to turn it in once we've drunk this and then get ready for our day in Naples tomorrow so yeah. really looking forward to that <laughs> So, brilliant day in Rome, what a, what a place. Definitely, yeah. Really, really, mm -hmm. really fantastic city and somewhere we will revisit, definitely, definitely. Anyway, yeah. well look, thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening. And we'll give you an update from our day in Naples tomorrow. Bye. Yes. Supporting our channel helps us make more content like this and the easiest way to do that is to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks very much.